Missouri woman has serious injuries after a truck clips her neighbor's home and then plows through her patio door. Chris Welty speaks with her husband who questions why the driver wasn't arrested after leaving a trail of destruction. DOTD already replaced the street signs, but there are still visual reminders of the impact of this crash. Off the I-10 service road near Carrollton Avenue and Hollygrove in Metairie, faint tire tracks cover the pavement where a driver crashed Friday night. I had just armed uh, our alarm about 8.30 and about 12 minutes later, just boom. Scott Castle says he and his wife were settling in after returning home from vacation. Neighbors estimate the driver went 70 yards and was driving at a high rate of speed before slamming through the castle's home. It hit the sofa that my wife was on and threw her uh, about 18 feet uh, across the room. She landed, uh, hit, her, hit her face on a uh, china cabinet and then landed face down on the top floor. The truck stopped after hitting a support column. Castle could not get to his phone to call 911, so he ran outside to scream for help as his wife was bleeding. We have a doctor of internal medicine that lives at the corner and he came in and started administering aid to my wife before first responders got here. Mark Menard and his family live next to the castles, the sheriff's office, breaking the news that their home was also hit. I hate to break it to you, Marine Cameron, but somebody ran into your house with a car. What? Somebody ran into your house with a car. And oh, oh, okay. And you've, you've got some some damage to the back part of your house. We've been here since 2007, and we've had this happen with cars ending up somewhere in our yard 14 or 15 times. Gas and water are cut off, and chunks of the truck are scattered across the Menard's yard. We've suggested guardrails, we've suggested speed bumps, and there's always some type of reason why they can't do it. DOTD is familiar with the location and says they'll evaluate for future improvements. Both Menard and Castle question why the driver was not forced to submit to a sobriety test. The driver did not respond to Fox 8's request for comment. The Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office says the driver showed no signs of impairment, but he was issued several citations and his vehicle was impounded for not having insurance. Reporting in Metairie, Chris Waltz, Fox 8 Local First.